Hello everyone, and welcome to my review of the Bradstone 47-inch white wood console table with three drawers and two shelves. The table is constructed with solid and engineered woods, and it is 47 inches long, 15 inches deep, and 29.72 inches high. It weighs about 85 pounds. The table coordinates with other furniture in the Bradstone collection. The warranty guarantees the product to be free of manufacturing defects to the original purchaser for three years. The use, care, and assembly guide is also available online and a paper version is also included with the table in the shipping container. It is easy to follow and is well written. If you become unsatisfied with the table, Home Depot has a 100% happy return policy. I have accelerated the unboxing process by a factor of three. I have also removed portions of the video that were not critical, such as removing the many layers of styrofoam. This red bag contained the assembly instructions, use and care guide, and here is the big bag of hardware for the assembly. There are the three cross braces. And that's the top section that I'm moving that contains the three drawers. This is side C. And here we have side B. Shelf F and shelf D. Altogether, there are eight pieces. And don't forget to remove the styrofoam that is behind the drawers. So let's get started with the assembly. First thing is to try to clean all the surfaces and then install the pins. These pins are, um, well, they're pretty easy to put in, but some of them I've noticed are not perpendicular to the board surfaces. You will have to screw them in and possibly make your own adjustments by unscrewing them and reinserting them and then starting them over again. Here are the L brackets that go onto the bottom braces. You'll, you'll want to get them snug but not so tight that they won't move because you will have to do a little bit of adjusting when you go to bolt them up to the bottom shelf. Now here's the bottom shelf. Here's the center brace. These are the long screws to attach the center brace to the shelf with. This part of mounting that brace to the shelf can be a little tricky as the brace board itself is not completely straight. You may have to start on one end and work your way to the other. Release the door lock levers before removing the drawers from the slides. Okay, so next we install the drawer handles. Very simple thing to do. Simply insert that long screw, get the handle started, the knob, finish it off with a screwdriver. Now that we have that accomplished, we 
want to move on and partially assemble the table console with the shelves and also the bottom cross braces. Now this is one thing that um, would be nice to have two people doing, but when there is only one person available, it's also possible to do. It just takes a little longer. Get the drawers lined up on the pins that you previously installed into the sides. Next, you'll want to grab those bottom cross braces and do the same thing. Insert them onto the pins. Now let's get ready to bolt those sides to the top portion of the table that holds the drawers. There are there is hardware available for bolts, two flat washers and two lock washers. Then use the Allen wrench that was included with the console table and tighten Tighten those screws down. Get them snug first. And give them about another quarter to a half a turn. All right, let's work on those bottom braces. Remember those L brackets that you installed previously? Well, that's what you're going to tighten down at this point. Once again, use the instructions. And they'll tell you exactly what, what bolts, washers, flat washers, and lock washers to use. You'll always want to use the flat washer on the part of the screw that is closest to the surface that you are tightening the screw down upon. And then, of course, use the lock washer above the flat washer to keep the, hopefully keep that screw tight for a long, long time. Keep it from loosening anyway. These are the cam locks that are designed to lock onto the pins that we installed during our first step of the assembly process. You will feel them seat as you hand start them and then finish them off with a quick twist of the Phillips screwdriver. I found that it was easier to set the console up on its edge to accomplish this. Now it's time to tighten down those L brackets. Here we are installing the cam locks on the second shelf. There are four locations here, same as what the bottom shelf had. I found that for installing the drawers, pull the slides out about a quarter of the way and then you can start them on the drawer slide assembly. There are threaded inserts on the bottom of the console legs that allow you to level the console. To protect your children, use this kit to secure the console to the wall.
When assembled, the console is a tight and solid piece of furniture, although mine had a mysterious hole in one of the side supports. Other than this, I found no other glaring cosmetic defects, although the corner on that drawer probably could have been a little sharper. Although I assembled mine indoors, I would recommend that if you can, try to assemble it in an outdoor space, somewhere where all that dust from the styrofoam packaging does not float around in the atmosphere and resettle on any other furniture that you have in your room. Also, I noticed that there was an odor, probably coming from all of that MDF paneling and freshly applied paint. However, this should dissipate over time. This concludes my review for the Bradstone 47-inch wood console table with drawers. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this review helpful.